just a morning talk and prayer today, guys. Some things that's been on my mind, and, and one of my Christian brothers and my good friends wound up talking about the same thing that he feels like giving up and just walk and just quitting and not even caring about life. And he's ready to give in and cave in. I want this message to be more than just the morning talk because of this when I felt pushed this morning to discuss this with you guys even at my work I receive hate on a daily basis I receive bitterness, malice, wrath, envy Targeted harassment because I'm Christian. Because I'm Christian, I receive more hate than normal. And I'm targeted by hate. By the same people that say they support me and respect me. You see, this is the way the world is. And I know it seems kind of heartless and distant to say it that way, but it is the truth. But if we give up, we are robbing God of his plan. We are taking our the control from God and putting it in our own hands. And we're not letting God work in our life. Everything is a test. Everything is a challenge. And you are going to pull through stronger than ever if you don't give up. But it's easy to say these words. It's easy to say these words and, and not give you any tools. The, the thing is, and I'm going to say this, life sucks. I want it to end. I want it to end myself. I don't want to be here anymore myself. But I know God has a greater plan and a purpose for us. And God has a greater blessing for us coming through it. I haven't seen mine yet. But I can't give up. I can't give in to what this world wants me to do. Curl up in a ball and hide. Because if I do, then I'm no better than the world. You see, when we are at our wit's end, then we're at the last straw. That's when we need to be reaching out more and more and more. Don't give up. Every time the world wants you to give up, to make you feel less of a human, less of a person, that's what Satan wants. He's planned this so well to destroy you mentally. Physically, emotionally, spiritually. The Bible clearly says, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. But don't let the world rob you of your victory. Don't let the world turn you cynical. I had to take time to reassess my attitude as well because I've been battling it. I've been wanting to give up. I've been wanting to give in. I've been wanting to just say, forget it all. Just shut down everything and go back to my isolation. To stop thinking positive. Start doing what the world's doing. 
but when in fact we have to do the opposite. I've tried committing suicide five times in my life. And God has stopped it every time. God has always put somebody in my path that changed my attitude. He's doing the same for you. When it is rough, when it is hard, when it when I don't when you don't want to go in, go on any further. Pray even more. That's the tool I want to give you is prayer. The second tool I'm going to give you is talk to someone. Keep talking. Don't shut down. You may not want to hear what they got to say, but don't shut down. Reach out. God put people in your life to help you through these difficult times. God has put people in your life to give you the strength to push through when nothing else works. Please reach out. Please talk to somebody. Please be the buddy checker. We get caught up in our lives and we get busy, but we need to start checking on our brothers and sisters more. We're all hurting right now. We're all feeling alienated and hated. When we should be feeling loved beyond love. Blessed beyond blessed. And wanted. Even though our employers don't want us. Even though the world doesn't want us. We are here. Because we are loved to be our love. We are blessed to be our blessed. We are called by name. By a creator. That wants nothing but us to love you. In return. Remember that. Guys, I love you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just lift up Phil and all our brothers and sisters this morning. We want to lift up all our brothers and sisters that are battling cancer, migraine, strokes, heart attacks, seizures, blindness, mental disorders, depression, anxiety, fear. We call out these demons in your name, O Lord. We call them out in your name, O Lord, that you remove them from your children, O God. And by your authority in the name of Jesus Christ, these demons have no place. Lord, the faith of a mustard seed you said moves the mountains. Oh Lord, I believe that and I receive that truth, oh Lord. And I take that tree, that truth in faith, in full assurance that you will hear my petitions, oh God. You'll hear my cries, oh God. Lord, how long must we wait? How many more people have to give up before you answer? How many more have to succumb? Oh God. How many more cannot have hope or peace, oh God? Lord, deliver us from the hands of the enemy. Open doors no man can shut. And shut doors no man can open. Give us the strength today, O oh God, to go into this world. To go into this world and face it with your faith, with your peace. When everything is turmoil, give us the strength and courage to fight. In your name, Jesus. Amen.